Hello, welcome back. Today I'm going to be doing some macro photography yet again with dandelion clocks but I'm going to get a little bit more arty and a little bit more intense into it. What I'm going to be doing is actually instead of putting a water droplet on top of the dandelion I'm going to be spraying it with water to get artistic effect like this with some backgrounds. So stay tuned and get ready. Okay then, let's get down to the nitty gritty part of it all. This is what we're going to be needing for this photo shoot. Camera, this is my 750 days you already know what I use. I'm using my Canon 100mm lens with an extension tube on. The only reason I'm using this extension tube, this 37mm extension tube, is because I'm going to try and get a bit closer and a bit more in detail to the picture. Which means it pulls you more into it, you know, you, you're seeing something. Usual setup, milky water, lazy Susan, blue tackle modelling clay just to sit it in, to sit your dandelion clocks in, spray bottle, most important thing. I'm going to try and talk to you and show you how, what the main thing is I'm going to be doing. This, just imagine this is your dandelion clock. We've been taking pictures where we've been putting the water droplets on the top. Yeah, and you've done some absolutely fantastic shots. Today, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be not doing that. We're actually going to be spraying the dandelion clock to get all those these little balls on. So what we're going to do is we need. Imagine this your dandelion clock. We're going to put it in our modelling clay or blue tack. And then what we're going to be doing is we're going to bend. We're going to be bending it forward, so it's virtually flat to your camera. So you want to just bury this, the milk, put the, the modding clay just so the milk goes out of the top of it so you can't see it. Then what we're doing is we'll be spraying it. So when we're on the tripod, this is actually a rough angle of what we're going to be using. So you ain't looking out, you ain't, we ain't trying to look over the top, we, or this, or bouncing light back. What I'm actually doing is lighting up there. reason for this is because we're going to get a nice foreground. If you want a reflection in, you're going to get a nice reflection. And I'm using, like I said before, I use the milk to cast the shadows in off my backgrounds to make them look, look all more fancy and whatever. So, if you're happy with that, let's get on to doing some shots. This is the fun part of it all now. This is where I introduce the water droplets onto the dandelion clock head. Now as you can see in the picture, you can't see the blue tack because it's just under the milk. You can or should just be able to see the reflection of the dandelion clock. Now what I'm going to do is start introducing the water. This is the best bit. I love this bit. Now don't forget what I says. This might take you one attempt. This might take you two attempts. They are prone to fall off and break. So just making you all aware. As you can see, the droplets have started to come now onto it, so it should be looking nice, but there ain't enough on there yet for me. It don't matter how many times you do this, but don't matter how many times you do this, you'll always get a different look. Now I quite like that, so I might leave that there as it is. As you can see, we've got the dandelion clocks, we've got the water droplets on it. Nicely, I can also just about see underneath if I can get it a bit more in focus for you. Yeah, I can just about see the sh I can just about see the shadow underneath. See if we can darken it off and get show it a bit more. Yeah, as you can see, I've just darkened. I've just pulled the Aptured up a bit, but you can see the shadow start coming down underneath. Now this is just all this is with is my uh, my filming light, but I'm quite happy with that. So I think we'll start taking some pictures now.
Now as we was as we was just talking, the clocks, the water, the dandelion clock actually collapsed, and I had to redo it again. So I had to refocus again and look at look through it all. I'm quite happy with what I got on this shot anyway. Got my dandelion clock in the water. You probably won't see it, but you can see where my camera is set, the handle. Yeah, so all I've got in focus is from there to there. Nothing else. Yeah, my flash on the top. One, one third two of the power. I've not got any diffuser on, as you can see. I could use a diffuser. Power setting, my camera settings, my manual. One, forward slash one, six oh. I'm at F10 and ISO 100. I might want to change these round depending on the colours of your background or anything else, but here's the most important part backgrounds. As you can see, what I'm doing my backgrounds, yeah? I've got my backgrounds there, and all I'm doing now is moving the backgrounds, moving, yeah? To work with a flash, yeah? And you're going to get something you like. I'm after something, I don't know. Something a bit thick. Now listen, if you think it's a bit too much or you know too bright, just step your power down on your flash just one. So I've got now to 164th. Depending on the colour of your background, oh that oh, I absolutely love that one. Well depending on the colour of your background is what you're gonna get. Now what I am gonna say, yeah, is it's important. You, you to keep moving your backgrounds back, moving. And this is the way you're going to get your reflections. You should be able to see them when you start flowing. I'm quite happy with some of that, as it gives me a nice art appeal. I'm going to try a blue one, I ain't keen on the blue one, but we'll have a look. Yeah. I'm just going to show you the back of my camera now to prove what camera settings I'm on and what it's looking, so I don't, don't think you can beat. If you can see the actual thing, so I'll just get this all lined up. Oh yeah, right. You can see the power of my settings on there now. What I'm gonna do is try and take some more shots so you can see the back of the camera. I don't know if it's gonna work, but we'll have a look. There you go. That's be the yellow background one I've just showed you. Absolutely awesome and so easy to do. A bit bright. Move that one wrong, bent it wrong. Oh, and that one a big poo. There you go. Like I said, I don't keep secrets. Don't believe in keeping secrets. If you're a good photographer, you should be able to take these photos, share them. Yeah. So that other people. Oh, I like that one. Come on, come back in a focus, please. There we go. Yeah, like I said, there's my settings. You can see there straight on the bottom back of my camera. Yeah, my power on my flash, 164th. Come on. There you go, quickly. My phone. Oh, look at that one. That's quite nice. That's with the green background. Yeah, quite happy with it. You can see what I'm doing, all I'm doing is moving around. There you go, it's my orange background. People keep asking where I get, get, back, get my backgrounds from? Tesco. <laughs> right, let's have, get a middle, have a look at these pictures on the screen now and we'll have a final talk and round everything off. I hope you enjoyed that bit of a session. It just shows what difference you can, you can make with a dandelion. You don't have to just put a single droplet on the top. You can, there's all sorts of things you can do with it. But like I said, the importance of keeping that dandelion clock level to that camera is a must. Because the more you keep it lever, level, lever, le level, the more sharper you're going to get your pictures. Because increasing your f-stops might get you more in focus, but then your background will come won't come as nice. This is something I found out. This is my opinion, not you know, your opinion could be totally different. Let's face it. 
So try and keep it like that. Try and keep it as level as you can. Is my is my tip for you. And keep moving those back rounds round. If you if you fail to stack, have a go fail to stack in. You might get them a lot sharper than me, but with me, I like I like I like the difference. I like the different light in my pictures. I like the feeling of it. You know, I like to make make stories out of my pictures. You know, if if a picture catches me, it means I've got something in mind for it, or there's a feeling inside for that picture. <clears throat> like I said, well done to all those people, all my friends that have been sending me the pictures of dandelion clocks. Absolutely nailed it. Just shows that you all can do it. Yes, you can do it. If you've enjoyed what you've seen and you like enjoying my videos. Please could you subscribe, please could you tell your friends, put, put on your social media, share, share, share. I'd like to say a big thank you as well to Stuart Wood for pulling us all out our road last week with his live video. He's going to be doing another one, I have spoken to him yesterday and I understand that, you know, it was enjoyable so he's going to be doing it again. If you've not seen none of his content, please subscribe, please have a look, Stuart Wood, absolutely brilliant photographer. And he's liked by some of the world's best macro photographers in the world, like Dom Komarovacci. He's a good friend of Stuart Woods, and he, you know, they share tips and whatever. Don't be afraid. When he's live, he's going to be doing a question and answers. Absolutely fantastic. Ask him any questions, you know, he'll answer them. He's just like me, normal, down to earth. So until next time, like I says, could you please subscribe? Please, could you, my friends, my friend, please share me on social media. Let's get this out there. And thank you once and all again. Stay safe. And until next time, you know what I'm going to say. Happy snapping.